Jason Abraham, the shadow teacher. And recently, I have been digging deeper into my yoga practice and I've reconnected with my mentor and I'm diving to depths that I never before knew were possible. And one of the things he said to me, and that he was speaking in regards to chakras and subtle energy, is that the willingness to see opens the door to perception. Now this does not mean that you're going in imagining something that's not there and projecting an image, but it's the, the willingness to see and experience on a deeper level that opens up that possibility within you. And much of what I've noticed with, with yoga practice in the Western world, much of it is either based strictly around fitness and the body, or it gets too much into escapism. So we have sort of like the aramonic side of reductionism, strictly making it physical, taking out anything spiritual. And then the other side is more Luciferian, where it's more about becoming an energy junkie and escaping. But real yoga is about union. It is about union with mind, body, and spirit, and experiencing the totality of being in the life that you are in. And again, just kind of going back to that, the willingness, the willingness to see, there's so much there. As most of us, if we've been enculturated, indoctrinated, we have a lot in our perception, our field of perception, that we believe is true. And many people, when information, new information shows up that challenges that perception, find it very hard to let go of the old perceptions the old beliefs, even when new information is showing up that indicates that those beliefs may not be true. And once again, what I find, this stunts consciousness, this stunts progress of being when one is not willing to examine their belief systems that are being challenged, and accept new information that is resonating on the frequency of truth. And that's what truth is. Truth is, it goes beyond subjectivity and objectivity. There's a resonance to truth. And when something is true on that profound, deep level, you simply know it and you feel it. And again, the willingness to see that willingness is what opens everything up. And again, I've had my beliefs shattered over and over and over again. And many times I would regress to a childlike state, wanting to, to hold on to the comfort of a comfortable lie. A belief that truly is, is not serving me, that's not moving me forward on the path that I was called to walk on. And if one is a, a truth seeker, if one truly values sovereignty, truth, and potential, you got to be willing to look at these things. You have to be willing to address them head on. And that's going to be a process that continues throughout our whole life journey. Our ego 
doesn't like that though. Our ego wants to be certain about how things are and where we're going. It's doing that for protection. It wants us to, to survive and thrive. But if we truly want to live our potential, we got to be uncertain at times. We got to be okay with it. We got to be uncomfortable. And we got to be okay with it. You got to be willing to see light when it wants to reveal to you. You got to be willing to go into the darkness when the path that's calling you is shrouded in mystery. So that's all I'm going to leave you with today. The willingness to see. Hope you're willing to see. Class dismissed.